हेलो गाइस आई एम सबके चैन आई मेडिकल स्टूडेंट एट विनसा नेशनल मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी एंड हेयर आई एम बैक विद द न्यू वीडियो ऑफ माई नाटमी सीरीज विद द टॉपिक फ्लेक्सर एंड एक्सटेंसर एटिनोकुलम इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट दी स्ट्रक्चर दट आर रिलेटेड टू दी फ्लेक्सर एंड एक्सटेंसर एटिनोकुलम and for more such videos you can subscribe to our youtube channel follow us on instagram and for better revision of the topics you can join our telegram channel all the links will be provided in the description below now before discussing the structures related to the retina coulomb let's just understand at what actually is retina coulomb so first let's start with the flexor retina coulomb so the first topic is flexor retina coulomb now how is this flexor retinoculum formed or what does it do first of all let's see that here is a word that is carpal arch here it is written the carpal arch what is this carpal arch carpal arch is basically a bony arch it is formed by your carpal bones we have eight carpal bones so this carpal arch it is basically formed by your carpal bones now superficial to this carpal arch or above this carpal arch we have a thick connective tissue ligament we have a thick connective tissue ligament and that connective tissue ligament is known as flexor retinoculum so flexor retinoculum is basically a thick connective tissue ligament over the carpal arch and due to this your carpal arch is now converted into a tunnel known as carpal tunnel so if we are saying that we are talking about the structures that are present deep to the flexor retinoculum we are actually saying that are structures present inside the carpal tunnel now let's see that what are the related structures so before that before that let's also discuss the extent of flexor retinoculum so flexor retinoculum extends laterally from the tubercles of scaphoid and trapezium to the medial side that is hook of hamate triquetrum and pisiform so this is the extension of a flexor retinoculum now let's see the related structures for that suppose that here you have your hamate uh, this is the hamate and here you have the trapezium and these are the carpal bones in between now so this is the hamate and this is the trapezium now here in between these two here this extension is the flexor retinoculum so this is the flexor retinoculum now let's see what are the structures present deep to the flexor retinoculum all right before that let me just tell you that flexor retinoculum will give hair will give hair a deep bra a deep slip this is the deep slip of flexor retinoculum and here this is the superficial slip of flexor retinoculum all right now deep structures first structure that we have here is the ulnar bursa this is the ulnar bursa and in this ulnar bursa we have four tendons of flexor digitorum superficialis flexor digitorum superficialis and four tendons of flexor digitorum profundus all right now here we have this radial bursa along with the tendon of flexor pollicis longus we have this median nerve and we also said that the compression of median nerve in your carpal tunnel or deep to flexor retinoculum leads to the carpal tunnel syndrome with certain manifestations and in the deep slip of flexor retinoculum we have again a tendon of flexor carpi radialis so let's mark everything that what are the structures here we have ulnar bursa we have flexor digitorum superficialis four tendon flexor digitorum profundus four tendon this is the radial bursa
and tendon of flexor pollicis longus. Here we have the median nerve and here is the tendon of flexor carpi radialis. Now let's see what are the structures that are superficial to the retina coulomb. Superficial to it, first of all in the superficial slip we have ulnar artery and we have ulnar nerve. So here we have the ulnar artery and nerve. Now we have a tendon of palmaris longus. This is the tendon of palmaris longus. Also in the median nerve, when we were discussing the median nerve in one of the previous videos, I said that there is a palmar cutaneous branch of median nerve that comes superficial to the retina column. So here we have the palmar cutaneous branch of median nerve and palmar cutaneous branch of ulnar nerve. As well as we have a superficial branch of radial artery. So palmar cutaneous branch of median nerve we have palmar cutaneous branch of ulnar nerve and we have superficial branch of radial artery so these are the structures let's see them once again so what are the structures that are present deep to the flexor retina column we have ulnar bursa having four tendons of flexor digitorum superficialis four tendons of the flexor digitorum profundus then we have the radial bursa having the tendon of flexor pollicis longus we have median nerve and in the deep slip we have flexor carpi radialis tendon this is in the deep slip now what are the structures present superficial we have ulnar artery and ulnar nerve in the superficial slip in the superficial slip of retina column we have tendon of palmaris longus palmar cutaneous branch of median nerve palmar cutaneous branch of ulnar nerve and superficial branch of radial artery so these are the structures present deep and superficial to the flexor retina column. Now let's talk about the extensor retina column. All right. Extensor retina column. So extensor retina column, it basically extend, it basically it is divided into four, uh, six compartments. It is divided into six compartment six compartments out of which the four compartments the first four compartments are on the radius and the rest two compartments are on the ulna so its extension is from radius to the styloid process of ulna from radius to styloid process of ulna now let's see that what are the structures in the extensor retina column. All right, see if here is your radius, and here is your ulna. So this is the radius here, and this is the ulna. And if here is your flexor uh, extensor retina column, so it is divided into six compartments as I said. So this is the first compartment, second compartment, third compartment, and fourth compartment. So compartment number one, two, three, and four. These are present on the radius, and this is the fifth compartment and finally the sixth compartment so compartment number five and six are present on the ulna now let's see what are the structures so first of all in compartment number one we have two tendons the tendons of extensor pollicis brevis 
and abductor pollicis longus. If you remember snuff box, the boundaries of snuff box, I said that one of the lateral boundaries in the snuff box, the two lateral boundaries of the snuff box were extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus. Similarly, those two lateral boundaries are the contents of the first compartment. First compartment is the lateral most compartment of your extensor retinoculum. So lateral boundaries, lateral most compartment. They have the same structures. So here we have the tendon of extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus. Similarly, if we talk about the third compartment first, the medial boundary of the snuff box, that is extensor pollicis longus, is in the third compartment. So here we have the tendon of extensor pollicis longus. So the lateral boundary of snuff box is in the lateral most compartment and in the and the medial boundary is in the third compartment. Simple. Now in the second compartment you have two tendons that is extensor carpi radialis longus and extensor carpi radialis brevis. Extensor carpi radialis longus and extensor carpi radialis brevis now in the fourth compartment fourth compartment is the most crowded compartment it has four structures first of all it has the tendon of extensor digitorum extensor indices it has anterior interosseous artery and it has posterior interosseous nerve so it has extensor digitorum extensor indices tendon anterior interosseous artery and posterior interosseous nerve. Now in the fifth compartment we have again only one tendon that is extensor digiti minimi. We have extensor digiti minimi and in the sixth compartment again only one tendon that is extensor carpi ulnaris. Since the sixth compartment is the most medial side and ulna is on the medial side only therefore the tendon here is extensor carpi ulnaris. So these are the structures present in your flexor and extensor retinoculum. And if you have any doubt related to these topics, you can just comment below in the comment section and try to reply all of them. And guys, if you want to give any suggestion that what kind of videos do you want, uh, any topic suggestion, you can just comment below and we'll try to make videos on them. And thank you so much guys.